Well, as the summer comes to a close and the school year begins, it's a good time to th start thinking about getting those fall vaccinations against viruses that can circulate in the colder weather. Dr. Jorge Salinas is an infectious disease specialist at Stanford Healthcare, and health officials are hoping to avoid a repeat of last winter's so-called triple-demic of COVID-19, the flu, and RSVV, RSV, should I say. So, doctor, what are the new vaccine recommendations for this year? Uh, virtually everyone should be eligible for uh, both a uh, COVID uh, vaccine um, a booster, a flu vaccine, and people over the age of 60 are now eligible for a new vaccine uh, against RSV. And, and so is it a good idea to get all three vaccines in a single visit or should we kind of spread them out? And are there any groups that should not get all three vaccines? These vaccines are, are quite safe and I think that they can be uh, given uh, at the same time. Sometimes convenience is most uh, important and uh, if you're gonna have some sort of a mild reaction, I think it's completely fine to, to, to have it all at once. So let's talk about COVID, you know, just when we thought, well, maybe it's over, maybe we've gone past COVID. Uh, we saw a surge and spike this summer. So what was the mutation? What, 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 what were we battling against this summer or what are we still battling against? Yes, there is a, a couple of new, newer variants that are circulating this summer. We've seen increases in cases every summer over the last four years. So I think that, yes, COVID is not over. Uh, however, the, the large impacts on society are hopefully in the past. So uh, if everybody applies common sense, uh, tries to improve ventilation, wears a mask, if, especially if you are um, uh, elderly or, or profoundly immune compromised or you have heart, liver disease, I, I think that we can, uh, we can avoid the, the hard consequences of this. And, and for the new COVID booster that will become available this fall, do we know how effective it will be against these new variants that we saw this summer? I think so. I think that these um, updated vaccines uh, are going to cover uh, quite well the variants currently circulating. However, this virus continues evolving and uh, in, we're dealing now with a, with a summer uh, spike, if you will. But uh, in a few months in the winter, there may be a new spike and we will need to see what the variants are like at that time. So as we head into the winter and the fall months, could we see a situation where we're gonna to have to start masking up again? Are we gonna to have to uh, do shutdowns are we, or are we past all that? I suspect that we're past all that. Uh, the recommendations will stand to wear a mask, especially if you're susceptible to severe uh, disease based on your age or other medical conditions. All right, well, Dr. Jorge Salinas with Stanford Healthcare, thanks for joining us.